97 on the box, interactive hip hop and R&B. You know what's so funny about music? 917, by the way. We listen to music and we might be jamming to it. Like I'm listening to this jamming, and you know you hear Pimp C on the hook, and you like jamming to it, and then you compartmentalize, if you will. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, and I'm just wondering, like, Bun, when you hear songs with Pimp on it, are you conscious of it now, or, or do, uh, when you hear it, does it still take you back? You know, you remember and all those memories start coming back again, and you, okay, I don't feel like hearing it. You know what I mean? Oh no, no, I don't reject music anymore. That's one thing I don't do. You have to, you have to deal with these things. Like, you can't. There's no getting around the fact that Pimp C's passed away. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And when I say that, I mean, you know. You have to look at the videos, you have to, you know, hear the songs, you have to look at the pictures and all these different things. And it's okay to still hurt, you know what I'm saying? Like, I see cars, I see clothes, I see a lot of things during the course of the day. Not, not just music. I see a lot of things during the course of the day that remind me of Pimp, you know what I'm saying? And you're supposed to feel funny. You're supposed to miss the people that you love, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I would feel very strange if I didn't get emotional at some points in my day. You know, and I don't mean just break down crime, but man, I miss my brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you see other people that, you know, in life, you've seen other people that be like that. But until it's, 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 until it's your walk, you don't really understand it, you know? Mm -hmm. But man, it's, it's a beautiful thing, too, because there's a lot of times when I see him and I smile, too. There's a lot of times I think about things and I bust out laughing. Like on the road, we've been doing that the whole trip, on the bus trip, just thinking about, uh, man, if Pimp was here, fool, oh, man. Right. Um, so we got this new restaurant in New York that we had called Philippe's. Oh my God. If this boy would've had him some Philippe's. Because Pimp loved food. <laughs> like in a very real way, like he was a, a, a real good cook. Boy could cook. Yeah, Whew. he was a real good cook. And we had a chance to get some of his food. And um, man, he would've, oh my goodness. And it's one of those places where you eat a bunch of food and you sit and you talk all night. He would've, oh my God. It would have been, uh, they would have changed it from police, police to Pimp Seeds. <laughs> <laughs> so you, how, how have you been dealing with that? It seemed like you've dealt with it. For, at first, I, I knew, I know that it was a shocker for you. And yeah. I, I could see it in your face that you were obviously having a hard time. I mean, it's you know not easy. It's still, you still have your moments, like I say. You still have your moments. And anybody that's dealt with grief you know, of someone, you know, the loss of someone close like that would understand what I'm talking about. But... You know, like I say, I understand that there are people who, you know, miss him more than I do. Mm -hmm. You know, his mother, his wife, his children, you know what I'm saying? And I respect that. And I just, you know, just try to be real about the situation, you know, and do what I can to honor his memory the best way I know. On your album, when you did the dedication song for him, how, how hard was it for you to sit down and put that together? Um, I tried a couple of times and I just, it didn't, it didn't come. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was too hard to start. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yep. you know, one day probably like just sitting in the bed like two in the morning and it oh, just came. Up, and, um, you know, I what's sat up in the bed and I wrote it. You know, I didn't have any music or anything. And Queenie was sleep next to me. I sat there and I, I, I had the, had the little light on, the little lamp, you know, on mm -hmm. in the room. And I sat there and wrote it. And w when I finished writing it, I had this, like, this feeling that came over me. Like, you know what it is now, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's when, I said, and I wrote to keep it 100 because it's like, once I got through that, I was like, okay, I see what it is now. I know what it is now, you know? I know exactly what it is I need to do and how I need to do it, and let's go get it. So I said, and I wrote the keep it 100 song. And that's why they come on the album one right after the other, because originally the dedication was gonna be the last song. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought it was gonna be the last song I was gonna do for the album. But then we wrote keep it 100, and I was like, and this has to come after that song you know what I'm saying people have to know that this was how I felt and then this is what I this is what I knew and keep it 100 is the theme right now and that's the that's the focal point and that's the focus and that's that's the motto right now you know what I'm saying keep it 100 with myself keep it 100 with pimp and keep it 100 with the people as long as I do that I'll be all right it's Bun B live in the studio, uh, 921 on 97, 9 the box. Bun, uh, you don't mind if I go to the phone line, do you? No, let's get it. Let's go to the phone. Good morning, hello. Good morning, 